Hello agents and welcome to another Division 2 video from Shadow Gaming. Today I got another build video for you guys and I think this is the best Hunter's Fury build you can put together in the game right now. I've been running this gear set since the day it dropped when TU11 came out and making all sorts of variations to it and I think I landed on my favorite version of the new Hunter's Fury gear set. But before I get started, if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing those subscribe and like buttons below and check the pinned comment below for links to my Discord, Shadow Crew Clan on all platforms, and further support from my channel. I make daily dedicated Division 2 content and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Agents. So let's get started with the specialization first. I go with the Gunner spec because of the 10% armor on kill. That goes perfect with the 20% armor on kill as well as the 100% health on kill from the Hunter's Fury gear set. So that makes Gunner the best specialization to go for if you're looking for more survivability. And you get the 10% weapon handling for sitting still and every third reload is faster. This helps a lot when you're running and gunning and you get faster reloads on your SMG and shotgun. This thing I think is one of the best things about the gunner spec. You also can go with the firewall spec because of the striker shield giving you an extra 11% damage per enemy bonus. So if you'd rather go the route of more damage and 30% bonus armor from cover to cover, you can, but the damage is entirely based off of that striker shield. Alright agents, now we're going on to the weapons. So for the primary weapon, you have several options, but my favorite and what I think is the best option is the Dark Winter. Make sure to roll damage the targets out of cover on the third attribute, and combined with the 92.9k base damage, this thing is a monster. It comes with the talent Perfect Killer, so killing an enemy with a critical hit grants 50% crit hit damage for 10 seconds. This is actually perfect with this gear set because we only have 111% crit hit damage, but you always want to make sure that you're at least at or near that 60% crit hit chance as well. Actually, we have 112% crit hit damage. We're running a gear set, so you will not have all that extra crit hit damage from brand bonuses like Providence and Sokolov and Seska, but that won't matter in the end. We just need to have that crit hit chance at 60% or close, okay guys? All right, next weapon is the named weapon that we got in TU11, the Mop. The new name shotgun, so you can get that from the Season 3 rewards or farming shotgun targeted loot. This thing was made to go with this gear set and has not been difficult to get. It packs a million base damage punch, 10% armor on kill, and I have close and personal rolled onto it which gives you an extra 30% weapon damage after killing a target within 7 meters. That is almost always happening with a shotgun and this build. So this fits perfectly on this shotgun and is giving us some decent armor on kill mixed with all the stuff from Gunner and Hunter's Fury armor on kill for sure. As for the pistol, it really doesn't matter. We never use it, so you could run the Liberty like I am or whatever else you want. Alright, now onto the gear. So let's start with the mask first. I'm running a four piece Hunter's Fury set, so I chose for the four pieces to be the mask, the knee pads, the holster, and the gloves. These all have weapon damage rolled onto them as the main core and crit hit chance and crit hit damage where I need it. So basically right here I have crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and so far I haven't been able to find one with crit hit damage right here, but I would put crit hit damage right here of course, and then crit hit chance here. As long as it's enough to get me to that 60% crit hit chance cap on the SMG, and then hopefully close to 50 on the shotgun as well. All right, so now on to one of the most important parts of this build, my Sokolov backpack. This thing used to be difficult to find, but with the new rainbow loot fix and the waiting being more in our favor now, just farm Sokolov and this shouldn't take too long to find an all red Sokolov backpack. Of course, I run weapon damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage on it, and it gives us that 10% SMG, which pairs perfectly with the 15% SMG damage we get from the Hunter's Fury set. But for the talent, I use Versatile. Amplifies total weapon damage for 10 seconds when swapping between your primary and secondary weapons if they're different. We're using shotguns and SMGs, so we get an extra 35% weapon damage as long as you're within 15 meters of the enemy. Now 15 meters is quite a far ways from like 10 or 5 meters like Intimidate and Adrenaline Rush have you doing. So remember, if you want, you can run Intimidate and Adrenaline Rush, but I personally enjoy this one so much more. So this is what I recommend highly. 
All right, so on to the final piece of gear, the chest piece. I run the Badger's Tough named chest piece, zero Fs, with Perfectly Unbreakable. So Perfectly Unbreakable, when your armor is depleted, you repair 100% of your armor, and the cooldown is a short, actually, 55 seconds. Now, most people know what this talent is and use it, especially on their DPS builds, but make sure to have the named chest piece for this specific build because it is not only stronger, but we need the one piece badger's tough for that extra 10% shotgun damage. This chest gives us that final last bit of survivability on top of the armor and health on kills from the shotgun and gear set. And this will also replace our armor bar every 55 seconds on top of all of that. And of course for the skills I run the revive hive and the crusader shield just like any other DPS build. For the shield I run holstered regeneration and then shield health of course. And then for the Revive Hive, I run the Reviver Armor Repair. Those are just the skill attachments that you're going to want. That's usually what you want on any DPS build is that Reviver Armor Repair. And then on the Shield, remember, Active re Regeneration and then Shield Health wherever you can get it. And then if you can, get that 5, I think it goes up to 6 or 7% damage bonus per enemy. This one's great because it helps with the Firewall spec. Now, you can get 11% damage per enemy with the Striker Shield, but we're already getting at least, with my mod, 5% damage per enemy bonus just with the Crusader Shield and we don't have to run the Firewall spec. Overall, this is definitely my favorite DPS build in the game right now, and I can shred through content either solo or in groups. There are many variations to this build you can do with the Vile Mask, the Chest, and the Backpack for Hunter's Fury is actually worth running as well, unlike most if not all gear sets. There's several variations to this build, and I'll be putting out more build videos on what those are, but I just want to give you a few of them like the Vile Mask or running the Chest and Backpack. Anyway, Agents, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please smash those subscribe and like buttons below. You can also support the channel through one of the links in my pinned comment below, like my new merchandise store where you can grab some awesome Shadow Gaming merch, my Patreon, or join my channel and become a member of my channel today for exclusive perks and just overall helping me maintain making videos like this one and the Daily Division 2 content. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful time with this build. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in my next video. Take care, Agents.